Welcome to another David Bellamy Bloomin' Marvellous Pledge for Nature video. Well, we've reached that bit of the year where our advisors are wrapping up their advisory visits, and I'm pleased to say that it's been a really successful year. Between them, all of the parks involved in the pledge have achieved well over 300 new challenges, and there are many, many more in the pipeline. This work spans the spectrum, from putting up bird boxes through to large-scale habitat restoration. So why don't we take a look at some of the winners? This year, Castlerig in the Lake District won the Pollinator Patch Challenge to join its previous Home Sweet Home and Tremendous Challenge wins. Castlerig's owner, David Jackson, was very complimentary about the pledge. The visit earlier in the year from our advisor Tamsin was very useful, he said, and it gave me a chance to actually pull together everything we had done recently and get her feedback and suggestions. At Hawthorne Farm in Kent, they've been hard at work on their Special Species Challenge. They're setting aside an area totally dedicated for hedgehogs, a hedgehog village. This will consist of unmanaged shrubs, a hedge, long grass, water stations and hedgehog homes. They've even set up a night vision camera to capture the action. Here you can see what the park's special species have been up to. At Westbrook Farm Park in Shropshire, the park team have taken up the rewilding challenge. Their plan focuses on the bank side of the river team. The aim is to improve the wildflower diversity and associated wildlife by letting nature take the lead. The park has also fenced off land to create a bike run for children. At Two Hoots in Hampshire, they've been letting things run wild and have successfully completed the Home Sweet Home and Super Signage challenges. Owners Michelle and Sean Ashcroft told me, Leanne, our advisor, gave us such amazing insight, advice and recommendations, which we've already started to act upon. Let's finish with another rewilding champion, Highlands End in Dorset. The park, which completed the Pollinator Patch Challenge in 24, is part of a countywide initiative called the Brick Catchment Recovery Project, organised by West Dorset Wilding. It's a project that was highlighted in a recent BH and HPA journal. So after taking a look at those amazing bits of work, I hope there's a little bit of inspiration there for you and your team. And remember, if you're not already involved in the Pledge for Nature, just contact the BHNHBA to join up.